Have you ever been labeled as awkward or snobbish, but really you just feel tense around people? If so, you may be shy and not really awkward. While it's true that shyness and social awkwardness may have characteristics that overlap, there are some key differences that set them apart. To learn more about this, here are six signs you're shy, not socially awkward. Number one, you feel uncomfortable around strangers. Do you tense up when you're in the presence of someone new? Perhaps you clam up and find it hard to speak. People who are shy often feel nervous and uncomfortable around strangers. While those who are socially awkward might also feel the same way, they're not limited to feelings of discomfort, as they may also have difficulty reading social cues. For example, they may be outgoing and have a lot of things to say, but come off as a little weird, quirky, or even aloof. Shy people, on the other hand, tend to be tense and awkward just at the start and willing to gradually open up and come out of their shell in time. Number two, you don't like unfamiliarity. Is it nerve wracking for you to speak in front of a crowd for the first time or think about how your first day of school will be like? People who are shy might not enjoy new environments as they often find comfort holed up in their rooms or in the company of people they already know. They can be less open than outgoing people, but deep inside, they also recognize the necessity of doing things despite their discomfort. This aversion to unfamiliarity can also make them seem uninterested or bored in new situations, but don't be fooled. Shy people aren't completely against meeting new people or venturing into new places. They'd just rather dip their toes first into something new rather than jump straight into it. Socially awkward people may also feel this way, but not as much as those who are shy. Number three, your parents are shy too. Do you ever wonder if you've carried over the traits of your biological parents? Surprisingly, genetics may play a role in whether you're shy or not, according to a report published by Nemours Children's Health. Up to 20% of people have genes that dictate their shyness. However, it's also important to note that while your level of shyness can be influenced by genetics, it's also possible for some people to develop a shy temperament depending on their life experiences. Number four, you had negative past experiences. Did you go through a life-defining experience in the past that changed who you are? It's possible that your negative experiences in the past have led you to become shy. Maybe you were always the new kid at school and had trouble making friends. Or maybe you had a friend that betrayed you and so are more cautious in finding genuine connections. The source of your shyness may not even necessarily stem from one event, but a culmination of many small events. On the other hand, while social awkwardness can also stem from past experiences, it tends to manifest differently. Instead of remaining reserved and quiet like shy people, socially awkward individuals may do other things like overshare in a discussion or overreact inappropriately. Number five, with friends, you can be the life of the party. Being shy doesn't mean you can't have fun with your friends. In fact, when you're around people you know well, you might be a natural conversationalist and can go on chatting for hours. In contrast, people with social awkwardness tend to act the same way around all people, regardless of how well they know them. They may not find it difficult to chat with a friend who they already know, but they may bring up topics that would strike others as strange or not know when to end a conversation. And number six, you're selective with who you let into your life. Does it take a while for you to warm up to someone? It's not that shy people don't wanna make friends, it's just that they're more selective with who they let into their lives. Shy individuals are often very choosy about the people they talk to and the situations they put themselves in. They like to take their time in getting to know a person before completely opening up to them. Socially awkward people, on the other hand, don't necessarily follow the same rules. They may talk to people indiscriminately or be friends with everyone they meet. So which one do you relate to the most? Are you socially awkward or just shy? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.